it's Melissa. Happy Wednesday. Today, I have lots of stuff to share with you. Um, first of all, if you have not been following along, Silhouette School has started a mask challenge. We launched it on Friday. So I'm asking every one of the Silhouette School readers, followers, watchers, whatever, if you are making fabric masks and you've used your Silhouette to do that, I want to get them counted. We are trying to make, um, we are trying to make like at least 50,000 masks and we are almost there. We're at 44,000. So that's just since Friday. So if you are making masks, if you want to learn to make masks, um, I put the blog post up top so you can get, um, get your masks counted. And if you, you know, make a couple and then you make a couple more later, you can go back and change that. Um, so by May 15th, we are trying to hit our goal of about 50,000 masks and we are almost there. So, um, I have all related that all tutorials that are related to that, whether it's cutting fabric with or without a rotary blade, um, how to assemble masks, um, the mask ear saver, all that stuff is in the blog post that I linked up top um, that says get counted here. Okay. All right. So those of you who are wondering, okay, well, that's great that I can cut fabric with um, a rotary blade. What else can I cut with it? Got you covered. So today I'm going to show you um, not only a cool project that you can make, but something fun for the kids while they're home, hopefully keep them a little bit busy, how you can um, use a rotary blade on felt, how it cuts so awesome. Wait till you see this. Um, and then also I'm going to show you um, how you can do that in a, not only a, you can use the rotary blade in the 12 inch cameo, but you can use it in the 15 inch plus as well. Okay. Those of you who have been asking, and there have been a lot of you, wh when is the pro coming out? I did put an update on the blog today about three different um, products that are commonly asked about and when they are going to be released there are delays across the board. We are not going to see the Pro in, in May as was originally, um, uh, that was the original, you know, launch time frame. It is going to be delayed, I suspect, until probably the end of the summer. Um, so that's that. But the Pro is here, I mean, the Plus is here, the 15 inch Plus, it can use the craft blade, it can use the rotary blade. I actually love the rotary blade much, much better. Um, but I'm going to show you why today. Okay. All right. So here I'm going to get this started. I prepped this so we, um, aren't spending a whole lot of time, um, doing that. This is felt. Okay. And I have this on my 15 inch cutting mat. Um, and I'm just going to make sure there's no stabilizer or anything. It's just felt directly on my cutting mat, which I have another trick that I'm going to show you, but not until after the cutting is done. And I'll tell you why in a second. Those of you who are going to yell at me for getting my mat all fuzzy, just hold your horses, okay? All right, so let me let me load this up, and we will start this cutting. So this is the rotary blade over here in the right carriage, and it can cut felt, it can cut tissue paper, it can cut uh, fabric beautifully, as we've seen with the um, as we've seen with cutting the masks. It makes it very easy, okay? And this is like, I need to trim that piece a little bit. It's too far over into the margin and I don't want the cutting, I don't want the um, roller to get it. So let me just, okay, I'm just gonna trim that. All right. Okay. Make sure that's all down. Apologize, you're seeing the back of me here. Okay, all right, so I have it all set up in Silhouette Studio. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm cutting in a second here after I get this going, because it is gonna take um, a minute or so, or probably more than a minute, but. Um, so what we are doing today is, now here's the rotary blade. It, if you are gonna cut with your rotary blade and you're wondering why does it have all these extra little lines around, okay? The reason it has those is be, those are the loops it needs those to turn, okay? The rotary blade is like a wheel. Um, I actually have another one right here I can show you. So the rotary blade has a wheel, all right, up here, and it's just like a regular, like if you have a, a rotary, um, handheld rotary blade that you use to cut fabric, that's the same as what's on here, okay? And it rolls across the fabric, um, applying pressure at the same time, and it cuts really nicely. So. Now for what we're, we're making. 
Um, so I thought this would be really fun. I took all these designs from their cut files. They're from the must have summer bundle on so fancy. Um, and you have a giant square. Oh boy. Okay. Sure. Um, so I have, I'm going to cut these on, I, as I said, I'm cutting them on felt, but this is a regular, oh boy. Look, look how many I cut this morning. got a little messed up. It's cutting perfectly fine. Don't panic. Like me. Okay. So what we are making is a felt board, felt activity board for kids. So I'm going to show you, as I said, these were just cut files that I grabbed from a, one of the bundles that we have on So Fancy. And I thought it would be fun, you know, the multiple different cut files you can give them to the kids and they can build, you know, whatever they want. So I cut out all the pieces. So here's, you know, some popsicles. Oops, this is getting. And then they can build them with different colors. It will keep them busy. Wow, why is it doing this? It's getting caught up on my pink one that's not on there. Okay, and I've got fruit. Look, all the little pieces are cut. Can you see? And they can make them. These are going to be strawberries. The green is cutting on that piece there. All right, and then we've got some citrus. This is just felt that I had. If you, I didn't have, it was supposed to be a lime, but I didn't have it, so I just made oranges and, and lemons, okay? And then, like I said, we are, here's a, the end of the popsicle, and you can make, give the kids so that they can make felt boards. This is obviously for like little kids, like toddlers or whatever. Why this is now causing me an issue. It really legitimately, so here, can you see? It's cutting the top of the strawberries. Okay. I think it was just getting caught on there. But it's fine. It's still, it's cutting. And you can see how cleanly this cuts. This is a strawberry. And the all these felt pieces I cut. Now, the reason I, I did this with the 15 inch as opposed to the 12 inch is because I literally have three extra inches that I can use um, to cut on at the same time, okay? And when you're cutting something with this many different colors, um, you want to be able to cut as many at a time as you can, okay? All right, so as that finishes up, now with when you are picking designs to cut with the rotary blade, you want to try to pick things that don't have a whole lot of um, angles because at an ang every angle that you have, that's where you get one of those extra loops. You see it's making, it's, it's not just like cutting out like a regular blade would do. It's going and it has to turn every time. Oh, I didn't finish cutting that one yet. Um, it has to go and it has to turn with every single um, angle, okay, because the blade itself can't go and then turn, so it has to go and then go off somewhere else and turn itself and come back, all right, and that's what you're seeing, okay, so it does take a little bit longer, as I said, but you end up getting these gorgeous cuts, even on these, like, very small pieces, um, you know, and this is just a fun little activity I've made, I should get the other, a couple of the other things I've made, felt bows and things, um, show you a couple of the other things that I've made with felt. Here's like these felt bows, all cut with the rotary blade. Christmas one. Oh, it's cutting off the side, that's why. Okay. So super cute. Actually, this is this is another one that I did. This one was cut with the with the craft blade. Okay. All right, so then, shot it out at me. Okay, here's my top to my strawberry. And I can just give it to the kids and they can put together, all right? And I have my strawberry here, see? Watermelons. This is where it got a little bit mixed up, I think. This is the end of my watermelon. Let me just pull this out. I need a bigger craft table, all right? Oh, hello. Okay. Oops. Let's see. 
obviously had a little bit of a hiccup there, which you guys know I'm not the only one that has a hiccup. I, I know I had another, it didn't cut the top. I think because it got mixed up, it didn't completely cut. And of course, like, like I said, this happens to me all the time. Look how many I cut and it's fine. And then I come on here on Facebook Live, I practice all morning and then this is what we have, okay? But you get the point that you can get beautiful cuts and make little activity boards, activity um, books or whatever for the kids and they will have a whole lot of fun with it. Okay, now let's talk about what I did on my cutting mat to prevent that from getting all fuzzy. I'm gonna move all this stuff. Okay. All right, now you can see my mat is now a mess. However, before I started cutting, I actually put a piece of transfer tape over my entire cutting mat, face the sticky side up, okay? And the reason I did that is so that when I'm done cutting, I can peel that off. Look, my mat is completely clean still. Here, come a little closer. All right, and this is going to save my mat. Now it's coming off in pieces because the rotary blade cut through the transfer tape, but all I used was this transfer tape, okay? And like I said, I put it down with the sticky side up so that the adhesive was holding my felt in place. And this way I'm not ruining my brand new mat with a material that is going to leave a whole bunch of um, fuzz behind. As you can see, it did it on here, okay? So now I just peel this all off. Again, this was put down in, in two sheets, you know, a 12 by 12 sheet, and then I filled in that, but it's cut, coming off in multiple pieces because I cut uh, four different rounds on here. You saw the fourth and only round that did not want to cooperate. So that was super. You guys probably think I'm like, yeah, right, Melissa. Okay, but you get the point that this is now, I now have, and you can see it, I now have my brand new, you know, my mat is completely clean. I don't do this for every material, but on materials like um, leather, a genuine leather that would leave behind a residue or felt specifically where, you know, you're, you're gonna have all this, you know, fuzz left behind, well, uh, all the only reason you need the adhesive is to keep your material in place while you're cutting. So why not put a temporary temporary piece of adhesive on there and just use that, okay? And I can continue to, to take it all off, um, and I will when we're done here, but you don't need to sit here and watch me, okay? Okay. Yes, I will tell you. It is. It's like it's like you go to the doctor and you're, you take your kid to the doctor because they've been sick for like two weeks and you get there and you're like, no, no, we're, feet, cough, please. But seriously, like, show, cough, can you cough, please? You've been sick for two weeks. I didn't just bring you here for nothing. That is me and my life when I am on this Facebook Live. Like, no, really, show them that you actually, you, you do what I say you do. Whatever. You just have to believe me. I mean, I think this is evidence enough with all these things that were cut, right? If it can cut these, you can believe me. Look how small they are, okay? All right, you guys. I hope you have a fabulous day. Someone's asking, do I need to do it for faux leather? No, I don't. I literally, I do this for um, felt, when I cut like felt flowers. And some, if you don't, if you have a little less force even, it doesn't cut through the, the material. But I, or the, your temporary um, adhesive. But I literally cut four different rounds of, to cut all this felt, I cut five, four different rounds, and that's why you're seeing, you know, that it's cut through multiple places and not coming off in one giant sheet. It was put on in two giant sheets, okay? All right, you guys, the cut settings for felt, I literally just used the um, default cut settings in Silhouette Studio for the rotary blade. Um, it's a force of 22, and I sped it up to a blade of, to a um, speed of 19. I probably shouldn't have because it has a whole bunch of uh, loops, especially around this little area here 
the little the top of the strawberry that looks like a star it has a whole bunch of loops and stuff but it does much much better on designs where it's a rack you know kind of rounded it does perfectly fine on these and actually you can see um like on my I'll show you my lemons the lemons that have these the you know obviously sharp corners and stuff they they work fine it's just that with every angle it needs to have a loop in silhouette studio the curve it can do all in one smooth movement but it's the angle that it has to go off and turn somewhere else and that's why why you are getting the loops and that's why you see um if i show you a little bit closer that's why you'll see for like the strawberry itself it only has one or two loops but on the top of the strawberry it has a whole bunch because it has a whole bunch of turns to make okay all right so if you're interested rotary blades are hard to come by they are um in bundles now with the 12 inch cameo um and four and then also the 15 inch plus so i put links up there so it's easy to find for you like i said they're limited quantity um everyone is taking a longer than normal time to ship right now just with the pandemic so do be patient um i think swings on like a 10 day um that's what they're they're saying a 10 day um shipping but they've been shipping the whole time they've just been slammed um with other um you know with orders and stuff like that with people buying um new machines to cut fabric and things like that so anyway all right you guys i hope you have a fabulous day and i will see you soon